Welcome, welcome to our squad. squad. Welcome back to our channel. I'm Jin and Jarrell, and today we're going to be checking out A Few Good Men 1992. You guys have been suggesting this for a while, so we're gonna check it out and we hope we enjoy. We know that Tom Cruise is in it, and that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we hope we enjoy this, guys. And if you want to watch along with us and get the full reaction, join our Patreon. The link is in the description. Also, Make sure you line up your copy of the movie with our reactions. And thank you so much and shout out to our top tier patrons. We appreciate you guys so much. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Now let's get right into it, guys. What the? Is this some form of training or something? What are I'm they? wondering. Um, it doesn't seem like it. the hell was that you know the the stuff guys do when you join the frat boys <laughs> <laughs> they do um i don't remember what it's called is it fizzing it's like an initiation yeah. i don't know <laughs> it wasn't that was it demi moore yeah kevin bacon shiny Perfection. Like, what if you can't do all that? <laughs> then you can't be here. Yeah. What the? <laughs> They're in sync. If you mess up, it's just gonna be so obvious. Yeah. Now, I'd like to request that it be I who am assigned. <laughs> Captain, I'd like to request that I be returned. Hi, I'm Lieutenant Commander Galloway. I'm here to see Captain West. It would be so funny if she entered and was like, Captain, assign me. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Would you like to sit down? Uh, I'm fine, sir. Have a seat. Two Marines entered the barracks room of Santiago and assaulted him. Oh. Santiago died at the base hospital oh, approximately no. an hour later. So he died? Dawson and Downey are both That's recruiting sad. Mr. Marines. I was thinking it sounded an awful lot like a code red. In short, Captain, I'd like to suggest that Herself. I be the one who that, <laughs> uh, that it be me uh, who is assigned to represent them <laughs> myself. Oh my gosh. Commander Galloway, why don't you get yourself a cup of coffee? Thank you, sir. I'm fine. Commander, I'd like you to leave the room so we can talk about you behind your back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you had to just yeah. say it out. <laughs> She's not. She wasn't taking the hint. She wasn't taking it. Yeah. She's been working a desk in internal affairs for a little over a year now. She's not cut out for litigation. She's a hell of an investigator, Jerry. Bring her back in. That's it. No more discussion. And I'll have division assigned them counsel. Well, from what I understand from your colleagues, you're much too valuable in your present assignment to be wasted. Wow. That's not it. That's not what, That's he, not said. what he said. <laughs> I promise you, division will sign the right man for the job. All right, let's go. Let's get to. Hello. Kathy! Dave, you seem distraught. You're going to get it done, and I mean now, or no kidding, Kathy. I'm going to hang your boy. He's not. <laughs> he's not the same, right? Like in Top Gun. <laughs> You know, <laughs> he's still Maverick. <laughs> it was oregano, Dave. It was ten dollars worth of oregano. I'm gonna charge him. What possession of a condiment? <laughs> and if the MTD is denied, I'll file a motion in limine. And after that, I'm gonna file against pretrial confinement. So he's still hard to deal with in this yep, movie. He is. <laughs> See, misdemeanor 15 days restricted duty. Oh my gosh. I don't know why I'm agreeing to this. <laughs> All right, Danny, I know you don't have a good excuse, so I won't force you to come up with a bad Oh, one. my gosh. <laughs> really? He was not playing baseball. That's what. A Marine corporal named Dawson illegally fires a round from his weapon over the fence line and into Cuban territory. Santiago threatens to rat on Dawson. Dawson and another member of his squad go into Santiago's room, tie him up, stuff a rag down his throat, and an hour later, Santiago's dead. Attending physician says the rag was treated with some kind of toxin. Oh, that's sad. I'm assigning co-counsel. No. <laughs> so I got a stack of papers. No one on wants my... to go with him. <laughs> it's unfortunate Santiago died, though. Yeah. I mean, we don't know the full story, but he died. Daniel Caffey, I was told to meet with uh... Galloway. Oh my gosh. Attorney Commander Galloway. <laughs> You're the attorney division assigned. Yep. Yeah. I'm lead counsel to Sam Weinberg. I have no responsibilities here whatsoever. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> this guy. How long have you 
have you been in the Navy? Going on nine months now. Nine and how months? long have you been out of law school? A little over a year. That when I petitioned division to have counsel assigned, I was hoping I would be taken seriously. No offense taken. In case you're wondering. <laughs> Thing goes to court, they won't need a lawyer, they'll need a priest. Downey's closest living relative is Jenny Miller, his aunt on his mother's side. She hasn't been contacted yet. Would you like me to take care of that? Sure. Yo, Colonel Nathan Jessup, I assume you've heard of him. Who hasn't? Expected to be appointed director of operations at National Security Council. He wanted to be transferred off the base. No one was listening. Oh, no. Where he offered information about Corporal Dawson's fence line shooting in exchange for a transfer. So how did they find out about that, you know? They knew he wanted to snitch, but still. I'll get them to drop the conspiracy and conduct unbecoming. 12 years. My job is to make sure that you do your job. My jurisdiction's pretty much in your face. Whoa. You're dismissed. He was dismissing himself. I always forget that part. I'm writing to inform you of my problems with my unit here in Cuba. Sergeant grabbed me and pushed me down the hill. Then I saw all black, and the last thing I remember is hitting the deck. I was brought to the hospital where I was told I just had heat exhaustion. What? I just need to be transferred out of RSC. Sincerely, PFC William T. Santiago, U.S. Marine Corps. That's abuse, yo. And then he died. Well, apparently he's not very happy. He's written letters to everybody but Santa Claus asking for a transfer. And now he's telling tales about a fence line shooting. Telling tales? As if it's made up. It broke the chain of command and ratted on a member of his unit. Can't run from here to there without collapsing from heat exhaustion. Wow. Not a care. Why not just discharge him then? So your methods doing... of leadership Don't interrupt me, Lieutenant. I'm still your superior officer. And I'm yours, Matthew. Send him home, you know? Since they don't want to transfer him. I think Santiago should be transferred off the base immediately. But where did this letter's bound to get out? He's gonna get his ass whipped. That's what happened. They're acting like it's so hard to do a transfer. Let's transfer the whole squad off the base. Come on out there and get those boys down off the fence. They're packing their bags. Tom? Okay, we get it. <laughs> Damn. Get me the president on the phone. We're surrendering our position. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we get it. <laughs> he was going to do it? Don't get the president just yet. <laughs> yes, sir. He was really going to contact the president just now. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we have a responsibility as officers to train Santiago. <sighs> well, now he's dead. Responsibility to this country to see that the men and women charged with its security are trained professionals. I mean, you have a point. He does, but this is, it's kind of different. But he could The know. end result, yeah, that's the thing you don't know. <laughs> Santiago stays where he is. <sighs> Oh, no. We're going to train the lad. Santiago doesn't make 4646. Four, and I'm going to blame you. Then I'm going to kill you. I think that's a mistake, Colonel. It is a mistake. John, uh, that's all. Why don't we meet at the old club? He's too calm. The way he speaks, he's just so calm. Yeah, scary. He never raises his voice. That's why he's scary. Yep. <laughs> Shipping him off to another assignment puts lives in danger. Sit down, Matthew. Well, his life was in danger and now he's gone. Mm -hmm. So, so then what? We went to the academy together. We did our tours in Vietnam together. But I've been promoted up through the chain with greater speed and success. Okay. Don't ever question my orders in front of another officer. That's tough. <laughs> I mean, yeah. he is higher ranked. Yeah. So. <laughs> There's nothing you can say. He, he can't act like a pussy. I think he could maybe rub it in a little more. Wasn't enough. Rub, rub in sarcasm. Because <laughs> I'm like, what? I mean, he, he was rubbing it in his face. Like, For I'm real. higher than you. Yeah. Like, stand down. Submit. Yeah. Dawson, Downey, your clients. The Cuba thing, yes. Oh, gosh. <sighs> the supervisor that he assigned different counsel. What? But I don't think you're fit to handle the defense. You don't even know me. I do know you. Mm -hmm. Daniel Alistair Caffey, born June 8, 1964. Your father's Lionel Caffey, former Navy judge advocate and attorney general of the United States. Then you joined the Navy, probably because that's what your father wanted you to do. Kind of laying low so you can get out and get a real job. Spend any more time in prison than absolutely necessary because their attorney had predetermined the path of least resistance. Whew. So... Did they do it, or was it, were they ordered 
to do it? Yeah, maybe it's deeper than we think. Like, what exactly happened? The nature of the acidosis strongly suggests poisoning. Santiago died at 1 a.m. At 3, the doctor wasn't able to determine the cause of death. Two hours later, he said it was poison. It had to be Professor Plum in the library with the candlestick. I'm going to talk to your supervisor. Right up Pennsylvania Avenue, it's the big white house with the pillars in front. You know what a code red is? What a pity. I think he should look into it a bit more. I, I want to know what's happening. I need information. Yeah. PSC, Loudon Downey, sir. Yes, sir. You don't have to call me, sir. Is this your signature? Sir, yes, sir. Sir, you don't need to do it twice in one sentence. What's code red? Sir, a Marine falls out of line. It's up to the men in his unit to get him back on track. Oh. Sir, a Marine refuses to bathe on a regular basis. The men in his squad would give him a GI shower. What's that? Oh. So that's what Scrub they brushes, were doing? Brilla pads, steel wool. Was the attack on Santiago code red? It seems. Yes, sir. Yeah. They were trying to set him in line. Yeah. So then, who murdered him? Did he die from the code red? The rag you stuffed in Santiago's mouth, was there poison on it? No, sir. We pulled the tape off and there was blood all down his face, sir. Oh, no. That's when Lance Corporal Dawson called the ambulance. What the hell? Were you there when the ambulance got there? Yes, sir. That's when we were taken under arrest. Santiago's letter to the NIS said you fired illegally. The mirror, he never made a move. Is that true? Because he broke the chain of command, sir. Had a problem, he should have spoken to me, sir. Uh -huh. Then a sergeant, then company commander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then... Uh, all right, all right. <laughs> Did you assault Santiago with the intent of killing him? No, I sir. What was your intent? To train him, sir. Um... Candlelight metal jacket. Unit core God country. I beg oh. your pardon. And you want me to go to the prosecutor with unit core God country? Yeah, it's unit. That's first. our code, sir. It's your code. code. <laughs> In full metal jacket, that's what they were doing, a red coat, when the guy would eat stuff when he shouldn't. Oh, And they beat him with the soap and stuff. But look what happened. He lost it. So how did he die? How did the toxic stuff get into his system? Oh, they said it was the rag was poison. Was it a mistake or was it, did someone intentionally do that? Let's hope for Dawson Downey's sake you practice law better. Kevin Bacon. Softball. See you when I get back from Cuba. They had a cancer for me. <laughs> they called the Avon lady. They killed the Marine. Why did he touch all of them? A naval hospital says he's sure. And he wasted it. Must not taste good. And a Jonathan Kendrick held a meeting with the men and specifically told them not to touch Santiago. Oh. They were told not to touch him? Yep. And they still went ahead and did the code red? Maybe someone else ordered the code red. If you ever speak to a client of mine again without my permission, I have you disbarred. Disbarred? Why go so far? <laughs> you got authorization from Aunt Jenny? <laughs> I gave her a call like you asked. Does Aunt Jenny have a barn? We can hold the trial there. I can sew the costumes. Maybe his Uncle Goober can be the judge. I'm going to Cuba with you tomorrow. And the hits just keep on coming. <laughs> He's acting like he's so easy to deal with. Yeah. <laughs> what goes around comes around. Yeah, beat him, join him. At least I got my help. You got everything. See you tomorrow, Luther. Not about to see you first. They literally talked in quotes just now. <laughs> Ross came to see me today. He offered me the 12 years. I'll take it up. Not gonna try. I believe every word of their story, and I think they ought to go to jail for the rest of their lives. <laughs> Regardless, yeah. He said the platoon commander, Lieutenant Jonathan Kendrick, had a meeting with the men and specifically told him not to touch Santiago. I never mentioned Kendrick. I don't even know who he is. So what's going on there? Because why try so hard to to take, to make them go to jail forever or prison? You know? <laughs> it's like they want to bury this. Yeah. Just get it over with. Mm -hmm. It's way deeper. The Cuban scene officer wearing white. They think it might be someone they want to take a shot at. <laughs> oh. Lotus Galloway didn't wear white. I guess she knew. <laughs> yeah. Just not that crazy about boats, that's oh, all. Oh. Jesus Christ, Cappy, you're in the Navy for crying <laughs> out loud. Nobody likes her very much. Yes, sir. <laughs> nice, no, just you. I like her. <laughs> Nathan Jesse. Hmm. Come on in. Well, let's see how this goes. I had the pleasure of meeting your father once. I was a teenager. He spoke at my high school. Lionel Caffey? Folks down there said a little black girl couldn't go to an all-white school. Lionel Caffey said, well, we'll just see about that. 
Wow. That's his dad? He passed away seven years ago, sir. Don't I feel like an asshole? I can be demanding that way. <laughs> he couldn't find a pen. I told the men that we had an informer among us and that despite any desire they might have to seek retribution, Private Santiago was not to be harmed in any way. What time is that meeting? 1600. It's four o'clock. <laughs> What the hell happened? May I call you John? No, you may not. I did something to offend you. <laughs> no, I like all you Navy boys. Every time we gotta go someplace to fight, you fellas always give us a ride. Dude. Oh my gosh. He's dissing him. Commander, I believe in God and his son Jesus Christ. That is a tragedy. But he is dead because he had no code. He is dead because he had no honor. And God was watching. What? Um, that sounds a bit harsh. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> yeah, he wasn't a person. Like, it's his fault he's, he's dead. You know? Yeah. <laughs> what the? I mean, he might have been weaker than the other guys, but. Yeah. <sighs> Mentally and Mentally, physically. physically. But that doesn't mean he doesn't feel. Like, he feels a lot, obviously. Santiago is going to reveal the person's name in exchange for a transfer. Any details that I'm missing, you should feel free to speak up. Thank you. He's, he's not saying anything. We agreed that for his own safety, Santiago should be transferred off the base. Santiago was set to be transferred. This guy has such a bad aura. It's 0600 Look at his face. Five hours. Because he knows that that's so bullshit, I, right? That's so sad. What the hell? So... He, He's the one who ordered it or something? Of course, I met the doctor. But one of my men was dead. See? <laughs> the man was dead. Let's go. No. I'm just wondering if Wait. you've ever heard the term Code Red. You received a cautionary memo from the commander warning that the practice of enlisted men disciplining their own wasn't to be condoned by hmm. officers. Well, I submit to you that whoever wrote that memo has never faced the working end of a Soviet-made Cuban AK-47. Is this guy... Was he in The Shining? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Do code red still happen on this base? Group? Joe, the colonel doesn't need to answer that. Yes, he does. No, he really doesn't. Yeah, he really does. She outranks you, Danny. Yes, sir. What is he trying to do? If you haven't gotten a blow job from a superior officer, well, you're just letting the best in life pass you by. She's My problem space, is I'm a colonel. He's not even listening to her. The disrespect. I need an answer to my question. Doesn't take her seriously. Take caution in your tone. I'm a fair guy, but this fucking heat is making me absolutely crazy. I think you're already crazy. Off the record, I tell you it is an invaluable part of training. And if it happens to go on without my knowledge, so be it. Only so don't think for one second, flash a badge and make me nervous. Okay, guy. Get it. We see what you are. Colonel, I just need a copy of Santiago's transfer order. What's that? Where you guys? He did say you. I... Yeah. For the file. Uh -huh. There's uh -huh. no copy of. The... Here to help in any way I can. There's no evidence of that because it wasn't, it wasn't done. done. You have to ask me nicely. Stand there in that fat white uniform and with your Harvard mouth, extend me some courtesy. Oh my gosh. I think he needs a psychiatric evaluation. If it's not too much trouble, I'd like a copy of the transfer order. No problem. I think maybe everything has gotten to his head. He's something like that. Wrong. Something is wrong with him. From from the beginning when he was talking, I was like, this guy is no scary. Way. Carl Markinson's gone UA. Unauthorized absence. I know what it means. I'm Laden Downey's attorney. Aunt Ginny. She said she feels like she's known me for years. So I suggested that she might feel more comfortable if I were directly involved with the case. <laughs> I think Kendrick ordered the code red, and so do you. Mm -hmm. So he's responsible. It was, was an order. Yeah, they for had Santiago's no was just, It's on him. You heard what I said. Did Lieutenant Kendrick order you guys to give Santiago a code red? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They did that to the rag then. Maybe not. Maybe not them, but... Well, I get paid no matter how much time you spend in jail. Yes, sir. I know you do, sir. Maybe he, he gave them the rag and they didn't know. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Lieutenant Kendrick came to our room, man. Lieutenant Kendrick ordered us to give Santiago a code red. Yeah. Exactly. He knew what he was doing. So he, he did that in, to kill yeah, the guy. in the presence of everyone else. Mm -hmm. 
And then after I went to their rooms privately mm -hmm. to order them to do it. Yep. And that was the transfer, oh. transfer to the afterlife. Oh, no. What? That's cruelty. I specifically told him to give him a code red. That's not what Kendrick yep. Kendrick's lying. You have proof? I have the defendants. And I have 23 Marines who aren't accused of murder and a lieutenant with four letters of commendation. Because he said it in front of the other Marines yeah. before. Oh, no. It's calculated. Yeah. He's a psychopath. That's why. Mm -hmm. I'll knock it all down to involuntary manslaughter. Two years or home in six months. No deal. We're going to court. They shouldn't go down for this. Yeah. But that that guy, Kendrick, needs needs to be stopped. He's a problem. It's not that simple. Look at his status. Exactly. So imagine what else he will do and what he's been doing. Yeah, but these people are like nothing compared to that guy, <gasps> to, compared to Kendrick. Two years. You're home in six months. Wow, Kathy, you're the greatest lawyer in the world. Ooh, how can we ever <laughs> thank you? Fellas, you hear what I just said? You're going home in six months. I'm afraid we can't do that, sir. Why? They're afraid. We did nothing wrong, sir. Oh. We did our job, and if that has consequences, then I'll accept them. Okay. But I won't say that I'm guilty, sir. Okay. I see. Did she put you up to this? No. Permission to speak. speak. Jesus. He hates this. <laughs> so robotic, right? After six months, we'll be dishonorably discharged, right, sir? And what do what? we do then, sir? Yeah. Like, it's the after thing. And then they're murderers, too. You know? Yeah. I believe I did my job, and I will not dishonor myself, my unit, or the Corps, so that I can go home in six months! Oh my gosh. Sir! It's complicated. What about the other guy? What does he want to do? <laughs> I don't know. I guess he's going with the flow. <laughs> Maybe not, but this one is being different. Do you think we were right? I think you'd lose. You're such a coward. I can't believe they let you wear a uniform. Oh. I don't give a shit. What happened to saluting an officer when he leaves the room? Oh, wow. He was the one trying to say not to do it. Yeah. So he's not doing it anymore. But now he's pissed. So <laughs> now he has to do it. Follow orders. <laughs> If he wants to jump off a cliff, that's his business. I'm not going to hold his hand on the way down. I want to get him a new lawyer. How do I do it? I want you to stand up and make an argument. His name is two teenage Marines executing a routine order they never believed would result in harm. These guys aren't the Nazis. Don't look now, Danny, but you're making an argument. Mm -hmm. You know how to win. You know they have a case. Do you believe they have a case? It doesn't matter what I believe. It only matters what I can prove. So please, don't tell me what I know and don't know I know the law! So what can you prove? Exactly. Can't you prove anything? So that's the thing. You're a used car salesman, Daniel. Oh, wow. You're an ambulance chaser with a rank. You're nothing. Live with that. Oh my gosh. Have some balls. <laughs> Kendrick did the code red to... Was it to make Santiago, Santiago stronger? What was his intention? Why did he do that? Because he's so upset that this man has no honor and, you know, doesn't try and wants to be transferred. Does defense wish to enter a plea? I guess he's practically trying to play God. They're not guilty. Enter a plea of not guilty for the accused. Yeah. This is going to be a difficult one. A junior grade with nine months experience and a track record for plea bargaining get aside. Would it be so that it never sees the inside of a courtroom? We work out of my apartment every night, seven o'clock. Clamps. I need you to start on a preliminary medical profile. The only thing I have to eat is you, who, and cocoa puffs. So if you want anything else, bring it with you. He is serious now. Yeah, he's going all in. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Well, this is what a courtroom looks like. <laughs> yes. I know you like that stuff. <laughs> going all in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They were following orders, Sam. An illegal order. Any decent human being would have refused. They're not permitted to question orders. That's the thing. They can't. Especially not with that guy. <laughs> he has to remember once they step foot into the Marine, the first thing is to follow orders. That's what they train you to do. Yeah. And if you don't, you end up in military prison. Exactly. Okay, the order. A. Kendrick gave it. B. They had no choice but to follow. Mm -hmm. Yep. He ordered me and Lance Corporal Dawson to give Willie a code red. Answers still have to come much faster. Sounds like he's searching for the truth. Yeah. 
He's counting his words. It's not so easy to not count your words though. Yeah, I do that. I do that. I do it all the time. <laughs> Santiago's dead and he shouldn't be. These nine people are gonna insist that someone be blamed for that. Ross is handing them our clients, yep. we're gonna hand them Kendrick. Whatever happens, you have to look like it's exactly what you knew was gonna happen. Oh. You pass me documents, do it it's swiftly, and then we're gonna don't look up. over anxious. Then wear that perfume in court. Wrecks my concentration. Really? I was talking to Sam. Oh. Sam is wearing perfume? <laughs> it didn't say cologne. Yeah, what? <laughs> Damn, yeah. I know what you're gonna say, but we don't have to make a whole big deal out of it. You like me, I won't make you say it. I was just gonna tell you to wear matching socks tomorrow. <laughs> We're ready. You better believe it. Let's go, guys. Yes, I'm ready. Let's go to the courtroom. We're gonna get creamed. Oh no. <laughs> it's really hard to win this case. Yeah. I mean, obviously they did it. Mm hmm. <laughs> they did the action. They did it, yeah. The guy died. The guy's dead. You are gonna save our son, aren't you? Your aunt, Jenny? Uh-huh. Wow. I'm sorry, I... Didn't expect I someone so young. So was I. <laughs> they woke him up, tied his arms and legs with tape, and forced a rag into his throat. He drowned in his own blood and was pronounced dead at 37 minutes past midnight. Horrible. The accused soaked the rag in poison, and entered Santiago's room with motive and intent to kill. They soaked it? And dazzle you with official sounding terms like code red. He'll have no evidence, mind you, none, but it's gonna be entertaining. Santiago is dead, and Dawson and Downey killed him. Yes, he's right. What will they bring? Like, God. how will you convince them? <laughs> yeah. There was no poison on the rag, and there was no intent to kill, and any attempt to prove otherwise is futile because it just ain't true. When Dawson and Downey went into Santiago's room that night, it wasn't because of vengeance or hatred. It was an order. It's because it was what they were ordered to do. You're given an order. You follow it, or you pack your bags. Yeah. And they are sitting before you today because they did their job. I'm thinking maybe Kendrick went to the doctor and tampered with something as well there is more mr mcguire have you questioned lance corporal dawson about the fence line shooting claims to have been engaged in some manner by the enemy why was any charge of firing at the enemy without cause there was enough evidence to support such a charge exactly santiago was the only eyewitness i never had the chance to interview him so i don't know what he saw and now we'll never know will we mr mcguire so he's trying to say that's why he got killed <laughs> yeah that's what wow. he's saying that's the motive <laughs> <sighs> That's the reason they did it. Were you present at a meeting? Yes, sir. <laughs> that Private Santiago had gone outside the chain of command. I guess they have a, a lot of a lot faces. of faces. Yeah, in this movie. What's his name again? Cuba Tarn Gooden. Oh yeah, Cuba. But what did you say though? I was saying something about Terence. Well, yeah, it's Cuba. Well, it was clear that he didn't want us taking matters into our own hands, sir. Sir, he said Santiago wasn't to be touched. Of course he oh did. Oh my gosh. In front of everyone. And then he went to their rooms privately. Corporal Hammerker, are you in Dawson and Downey's barracks room five minutes after this meeting? No, sir. Thanks. I have no more questions. I understand Captain Ross is planning on calling all the other members of Rifle Security Company Winward to testify. Yep. But that none of them were in Dawson and Downey's room at 1620. Yeah, they weren't in, in their rooms. I want to go over to the doctor again. I think evidence was tampered with. And he meets with Jessup, and at 5 o'clock he says it was poison? The doctor's not telling the truth. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a relief. I was afraid I wouldn't be able to use a liar liar pants on fire defense. We can't <laughs> prove coercion. If the muscles and other cells of the body burn sugar instead of oxygen, lactic acid is produced. That lactic acid is what caused Santiago's lungs to bleed. Did Willie Santiago die of poisoning? Absolutely. The nature of the acidosis is the compelling factor in this issue. Commander, is it possible for a person to have an affliction, some sort of condition, which might also speed up the process of acidosis? Oh, interesting. Possibly, yes. It's possible. And he was having issues. He was. Coronary disorder or cerebral disorder, the process would be more rapid. It would have to be a very serious condition. Is it possible to have a serious coronary condition where the initial warning signals were so mild as to escape a physician during a routine medical exam? Mm. Possibly. There would still be symptoms, though. 
What kind of symptoms? Tired. There are hundreds of chest pains. Yes. Shortness of breath. Mm -hmm. Fatigue. Yes. Fatigue. Yes. Yeah. He was facing all those. And he was complaining. And he was trying to get transferred. Yeah. Patient complains of chest pains, shortness of breath, and fatigue. Restricted from running distances over five miles for one week. Condition. Mm -hmm. It was that condition and not some mysterious poison that caused the accelerated chemical reaction. Yeah. No. What? What? Is that possible? Still no? No. Because? I personally give each man a thorough physical examination. Private Santiago was given a clean bill of health. That's why it had to be poison, right, Commander? Yeah. Because Lord knows if you put a man with a serious coronary condition on duty exactly. with a clean bill of health and that man died from a heart-related incident. You'd have a lot to answer for. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That is why it has to be poisoned. Mm -hmm. Because then he'd be in trouble. Exactly. Because what? And that's what I think Kendrick Black blackmailed him in that way, saying, you did sign off on that. So. Yeah. Discussion before ruling on this objection. The objection of the defense has been heard and overruled. Move to reconsider. Your objection is noted. The witness is an expert and the court will hear his opinion. Oh my gosh. Girl, sit down. <laughs> Was Willie Santiago poisoned? Yes. He'd be lying. He does not believe that way. The way he said yes. Yeah. It's like, yes. Like he's trying to convince his, himself that that's the truth, you know? Yep. She was being very frantic. I strenuously object. Showing too much emotions, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> No, I strenuously object. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sam. Christ, you even had the judge saying Stone was an expert. Sam, she made a mistake. It's not relive it. Why do you hate them so much? They tortured and tormented a weaker kid. They didn't like him, so they killed him. And why? Because he couldn't run very fast. Ah, uh, I see. He was that kid once. Yeah, this is sounding a bit personal. Mm -hmm. Like it's triggering him. It is. I guess he sees himself as... The weaker kid. Yeah. Why do you like them so much? Because <laughs> they stand on a wall and they say nothing's going to hurt you tonight. Not on my watch. Wow. When you think about it. <laughs> yeah. But the guys, right, though, they did that because he was weaker. Mm -hmm. But you have to admit, I mean, people should be accountable for their actions. Yes. However, when it's an order... It's kind of different at that point, you know? So many orders are given to, like, people don't want to execute on it, but they just have to. It happens all the time. So who will go down for what happened to Santiago, if not Kendrick. them? How you feel about my taking you to dinner tonight? Oh. Are you asking me out on a date? She is. No. Yes. It sounded like you were asking me on a date. <laughs> yeah. What the? Do you like seafood? I know a good seafood place. You should just give her a pair of pants. <laughs> give her the pants? Yeah, like... Because what? Like, she's the one who initiated? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I know you can do that, but for real. <laughs> I like her for that. Yeah. She, she, she knows what she wants and she goes for it. Yeah. That's nice. I think you're an exceptional lawyer. I watch the court members. They respond to you. They like you. I think you should prepare yourself for the fact that we're going to lose at the guys who are giving an order. I can't prove it ever happened. Yeah. What about his oh, his friend, his ex-friend? He knows something they don't know. They don't know that, though. And I don't know if, if he'll even speak on it because he's afraid of the... Yeah. Afraid of Kendrick. True. And my weapon slipped. I'd forgotten to use the resin like we were taught. I had the guys in my squad threw a blanket over me. Took turns punching me in the arm for five minutes. Ooh. And they poured glue on my hands. What? And it worked too, because I ain't never dropped my weapon since. My gosh. <laughs> That's torture. <laughs> it is. You got a code red because your palms were sweaty. Why didn't Santiago, this burden to his unit, ever get one? Night before, right? Because mm -hmm. they're not Dawson supposed to. It, sir. Mm. Dawson wouldn't allow it. The guys talked tough about Santiago, but they wouldn't go near him. They were too afraid of Dawson, sir. So he was protecting him? Oh. Jeffrey, did you ever want to give Santiago a code red? Dawson would kick my butt, sir. What? But yet he initiated a code red. It had to be someone higher up that ordered it, you know? Because yeah. he didn't initiate it. Uh, he didn't want to do it before. Ever. And no one else could do it because it's like he was protecting Santiago. Yeah. 
Wow. That's new information. Flip to the page of the book that discusses code reds. Well, you see, sir, code red is a term that we use. No, oh, we're actually... luck then. Oh, wow. It doesn't mean it doesn't exist. They do it. Pamphlet, no set of orders or regulations. It lets me know that as a Marine, one of my duties is to perform code reds. No book, sir. It's not in the book, but he got a code red. It's real. <laughs> yeah, right. right. In this book that says where the mess hall is, please. Effie, that's not in the book. Exactly, but then there's still a mess hall. Never had a meal? Three squares a day, sir. How mm -hmm. did you know where the mess hall was if it's not in this book? Exactly, because it, it exists. Just followed the crowd at chow time, sir. Oh, I see. Interesting. <laughs> he's, he's pranking because this guy is so good. He is. Hey, Luther. No. How's the big case going? This is grindstone. No flies on you. Rolling stone gathers no moss. <laughs> the quotes well, again. It ain't over till the fat lady sings. It ain't over till the fat lady sings. sings. What? Um, um, who's that? It's a friend. Oh, That's so creepy. I know everything. Exactly. Is it a code red? Did you witness it? No. But how do you know? He was never going to be transferred off that base. Mm -hmm. I knew it. That was never the intention. I signed him the morning you arrived in Cuba, five days after Santiago died. Oh, good. You're going to tell the court exactly what you did. And I don't want immunity. So he's going he's gonna to go down for it. Yeah, because he's ashamed. I guess he's feeling guilty about what happened. Yeah. And that he didn't do more to stop it. Yeah. There was a plane that left seven hours earlier. I'm going to talk to Ross and tell him where we are. I hope the guy doesn't die before. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I have Markinson. No. Why? Motel room in Northeast with six feet What the hell? Why are you doing that? Why is he being so transparent? I mean, you, you ha kind of have to. But, but why did he tell the location? <laughs> That's what I'm, I was asking. <laughs> Markinson's not going to hold up, Danny. He's a crazy man. Don't you dare lump me in with Jessup and Kendrick just because we wear the same uniform. I'm but your friend, and I'm it. telling you, I don't think your clients belong in jail, but I don't get to make that decision. Where are the possible consequences involved in accusing a Marine officer of a felony without proper evidence? You got bullied into that courtroom by the memory of a dead lawyer. His father? He's talking about his dad? You're a lousy f***ing softball player, Jack! Oh, the boys are going down, Danny. It's softball that they were playing and not baseball? Hmm. I didn't notice that. I don't really know the difference. I knew the difference, but then I forgot. <laughs> Was Dawson's promotion held up because of this last report? Did you report Private Bell to the proper authorities? I have two books at my bedside, Lieutenant. The Marine Corps Code of Conduct and the King James Bible. Knew it. You prefer to be handled with immunity. Have you ever ordered a code red? No, I have not. He was given water and vitamin supplements, and I can assure you, at no time was his health in danger. You did order the denial Isn't of food. Isn't that code red? Yes, I did. Wouldn't this form of discipline be considered code, code red? Yes. Yeah, it says what? If I called the other 478 Marines at Guantanamo Bay to testify, would they consider it a code red? Please, the court, the witness can't possibly testify to what 478 other men would I see say. what he did there. To this entire line. Because that's what that guy wanted to do. Exactly. Lieutenant Kendrick was Dawson. See, that's the issue. Below average on this last report because you learned he'd been sneaking food to Private Bell. Oh, he was? Because he had committed a crime. Given food? Dawson brought a hungry guy some food. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what, what he did. What did he commit? The code red law. He broke the code he red law. He disobeyed an order. Oh, that's the point he's trying to prove. Lance Corporal Dawson disobeyed an order. And he couldn't disobey another order, so he did what Kendrick said. That's, what his, that's his name, right? Kendrick. Is he captain or colonel? Can Dawson determine on his own which orders he's going to follow? No, he cannot. Exactly. He wasn't able to not follow another order. I specifically ordered those men not to come. So he's the one, he's Kendrick. He's Kendrick? Yes. Lieutenant Kendrick, did no, you see? No, I did not. Lieutenant Kendrick. So oh. he's Kendrick. I thought it was the other guy. Yeah, the, 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 the colonel, right? Yeah, I think he's the one who gave the it's not Kendrick. The order. He what he was working. He's working under Kendrick. Is working under that guy. Okay, well it's that guy who gave the order. Yeah, That's he's the one, the one that, that gave Kendrick the order to then 
do that, right? He's saying no, though. He's lying. Then why isn't it listening to Tower Chief's log? Jesse. He picks a logbook? He can make an entire flight disappear? You don't get to that position without knowing how to sidestep a few landmines. Oh, no. You don't still intend to put me on the stand. 10 o'clock. So they're just doing doing it all. Getting rid of stuff, getting rid of evidence. That and Downey's testimony really ought to be enough. Is it? Dear Mr. and Mrs. Santiago, I knew your son vaguely, which is to say I knew his name. For my part, I've done as much as I can to bring the truth to light. Your son is dead for only one reason. I wasn't strong enough to stop it. Always, Lieutenant Colonel Matthew Andrew Markinson. United States Marine Corps. What? He's going to do it? What? Oh my gosh. That was just terrible just now. How far is it from post 39 to the windward bar? About 10, 15 minutes, sir. He's he's trying to say he could not give him the order. It was too far. It must be a good hour by foot, am I right? Well, if you didn't make it back to the barracks until 1645, how could you be in your room at 1620? Did you ever actually hear Lieutenant Kendrick order a code red? Hal said that- Private, did you oh, ever no. actually hear Lieutenant Kendrick order a code red? No, sir. Did Lance Corporal Dawson tell you to give Santiago a code red? Hal? Don't look at him! Hal? Private, answer the captain's question! What Hal? the hell? Yes, Captain. I was given an order by my squad leader and I followed it. So who ordered Dawson? It doesn't matter that he didn't hear it firsthand. He doesn't. Yeah, he didn't it. hear it. That's the problem. Well, that went went south. Maybe we put Downey back on the stand before we get to Dawson. Maybe if we work at it, we could get Dawson charged with the Kennedy assassination. <laughs> but we fix it and move on to Markinson. Oh, well, he's Markinson's dead. He's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Got into full dress uniform. Fired a bullet into his mouth. He felt so responsible. I still think we can win. What's the plan? Subpoena Colonel Jessup. The Colonel? Yeah. The scary guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you thought he was Kendrick though, the whole time. Yeah. And I thought so too, actually. You thought he was Kendrick. Mm -hmm. You wanted to see Jessup's reaction when you asked for the Yes. Transfer. Damn it, let's put Jessup on the stand and end this thing. They should, because will he be able to keep his composure? I think we're going to finally see him shout. <laughs> You put him on the stand and you get it from him. Oh, yes. Get it from him. Yes. No problem. We you get it from him. It. Colonel Jessup, isn't it true that you ordered the code red on Santiago? Yes, he's the one who did it. After falsely accusing a highly decorated Marine officer of conspiracy and perjury, Lieutenant Kathy will have a long and prosperous career teaching typewriter maintenance oh, gosh. at the Rocco Colombo <laughs> School for Women. Thank you for playing. Should we or should we not? Follow the advice of the galactically stupid! Oh, he needs to take a shower and have some tea. <laughs> Ginger tea. Yeah, that should fix him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think my father would have enjoyed seeing me graduate from law school. One of the best trial lawyers ever. Between you and your father, I'd choose you any day of the week and twice on Sunday. What? Why? He's the one. So there's really only one question. What would you do? Would you? And will you? Get in the car. She's Joanne, not speaking to you right now. Car. I'm gonna put Jets up on the stand. Should have started with that. <laughs> I'm getting my second wing. Sit down, both of you. Jessup needs to tell the court members that he ordered the code red. And how will you get him to do that? Yeah. I think you he's see this man. He's he wants to I think say he wants to say. He's that yes. type of guy, which is why I said he's trying to play God. He's the one I was referring to. Yeah. <laughs> it's his ego. Yes. He has a big one. How are you going to do it? I have no idea. <laughs> that was not bat. I have put it in the closet. Don't ever put that bat in the closet. Nobody puts baby in the corner. <laughs> what? What about the uniform? Jessup's going to have his hands full today. You feel like he's not going to say it. Don't go for it. You could get in trouble. Oh, yeah. I'm not suggesting that I back off a material witness. If you think you can't get him. Call your witness. Jessup, a.k.a. Kendrick. Defense calls <laughs> Colonel Nathan Jessup. <laughs> We've done it again. <laughs> we did it again. <laughs> As per usual, first, the Moose Goose George. <laughs> Maybe it's a, it's a Tom Cruise thing. Oh, it is. <laughs> Tom Cruise movies? Yeah. Nah, it's forever movie. <laughs> 
Colonel Nathan R. Jessup, Commanding Officer, Marine Ground Forces, Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. <sighs> Intimidated. Yep. <laughs> Simply that at present, Colonel Markinson is not alive. Yeah, yeah that's sure, the Colonel that's Jeff a fact. Need to appear in this courtroom to confirm that information. We thank you for bringing this to our attention. I ordered Markinson to have Santiago transferred off the base immediately. False. I felt his life might be in danger. <laughs> this is such lies. The 0600 was the first flight off the base. Did you wear that uniform on the plane? You brought your dress uniform with you. Yes. Toothbrush, a shaving kit, change of underwear. Your Honor! Is the Colonel's underwear a matter of national security? Gentlemen, you better get somewhere fast with this, Lieutenant. <laughs> yes, sir. Colonel? I brought a change of clothes and some personal items. Santiago's barracks room was sealed off and its contents inventory. Four pairs of camouflage pants, three long sleeve khaki shirts, three pairs of boots. Means he wasn't packing. Yep. State your question. I'm wondering why Santiago wasn't packed. Exactly. Because he wasn't going anywhere. That would be the first thing he did. Because he was ready. He wanted to leave. I called Colonel Fitzhugh. The second call was to arrange a meeting. And the third call was to my sister, Elizabeth. And these are 14 letters that Santiago wrote in nine months, requesting, in fact, begging for a transfer. Upon hearing the news that he was finally getting his transfer, Santiago was so excited that do you know how many people he called? Zero. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yep. Wow. Not one call to a friend saying, can you pick me up at the airport? Nothing. He was asleep in his bed at midnight. And according Not to being you, packed. he was getting on a plane in six hours. Santiago was leaving for the rest of his life. Yes. And he did nothing. He hadn't called a soul. And he hadn't packed a thing. Yep. That's not looking. All these guys should be able to relate as well. The jury? His intention this afternoon is to smear a high-ranking Marine officer. Overruled. Your Honor. Overruled. Is noted. Nice. The judge is being convinced. I can't speak intelligently about the travel habits of William Santiago. Mm -hmm. Please tell me that you have something more, Lieutenant. This guy has a lot of experience. It's hard yes. to break him. Lieutenant Cathy. Thanks, Danny. I love Washington. Excuse me. I didn't dismiss you. Yeah, get back in the seat. I beg your pardon. He's gonna break. I'm not through with my examination. Ooh. Sit down. Because he's ordering him around like that? Yeah. I'd appreciate if he would dress me as Colonel or Sir. I believe I'm. Ooh, I it. that struck a nerve. Mm -hmm. The witness is Colonel or. Look at him shivering. He's shaking. He's like. And the witness will address this court as Judge or Your Honor. I'm quite certain I've earned it. Uh huh. Whoa. Guantanamo log lists no flight that left at 11 p.m. and the Andrews log lists no flight that landed at 2 a.m. I don't understand. You're admitting evidence of a flight that never existed. <laughs> oh, check the tower logs for Christ's sake. Oh, you said that you ordered Lieutenant Kendrick to tell his men that Santiago wasn't to be touched. Any chance Lieutenant Kendrick ignored the order? Because you can't disobey him. We follow orders or people die. Are we clear? If you gave an order that Santiago wasn't to be touched, and your orders are always followed. Then why would Santiago be in danger? You said he was in danger. I said he was I know danger. what I said. I don't have to have it read back to me like I'm. Dead. Why did you order? He's raising his voice. Yes. Colonel, hands. Your men follow orders, or people die. So Santiago shouldn't have been in any danger at all, should he? You snotty little bat. Lieutenant Kendrick ordered the code red, didn't he? Because that's what you told Lieutenant Kendrick to do. Exactly. They follow orders, or people die. So. Did you order the code? You don't have to answer that question. I'll answer the question. Oh? You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Oh? That Santiago's death probably saved lives. And my existence, <sighs> while grotesque and incomprehensible to you, saves lives. You need me on that wall. I suggest you pick up a weapon and stand a post. You so you did red? order it. I did the job. Did you order the code red? You're goddamn right I did. Yep, he said it. The members of the court will retire to an ante room until further instructed. That was really what intense. What the hell is this? Go on back to my nope, base. Not so fast. You're not going anywhere, Colonel. You have the right to remain so, silent. So confused. I'm being charged with a crime. He doesn't understand because he did his job, right? I think he's above. 
the law. You with the wrong marine! Whoa. Colonel Jessup. This doesn't take orders. It doesn't, doesn't know how. All you did was weaken a country today, Kathy. Sweet dreams, son. Don't call me son. I'm a lawyer and an officer in the United States Navy. And you're under arrest, you son of a bitch. Oh, this entire the scene. <laughs> Intense. <laughs> the witness is excused. Oh, no. His <laughs> ego is chopped down. He's going to have nightmares. <laughs> no, literally. He's yeah. going to see this guy's face. Of his face, right? Say, saying yeah. that, saying the all those stuff. Dismissed. Yeah. <laughs> On the charge of murder, the members find the accused not guilty. Good. On the charge of conspiracy to commit murder, not guilty. Yeah, because wow. they weren't trying to do that. On the charge of conduct unbecoming a United States Marine, the members find the accused guilty as charged. And you are ordered to be dishonorably discharged. Dishonorably. So still? Oh, no. Dishonorably, yeah, for following orders. I guess they should have not followed the orders, and they would have been dishonorably <laughs> discharged. Yeah, I guess they were just. Oh, well, they did say they want the court to decide. So this what did broken. that mean? You're no longer Marines. I don't understand. Colonel Jessup said he ordered the code red. What did we do wrong? It's not that simple. What did we do yeah. wrong? We did nothing wrong! They just yeah, followed we did. orders. They yeah. did. We were supposed to fight for people who couldn't fight for themselves. Yeah. Oh, no. We were supposed to fight for Willie. They, all they did was just follow orders and didn't second guess. <sighs> That's so sad though, but... And, and he died because They of did that. the action, you yeah. know? They did the action. You don't need to wear a patch in your arm to have honor. Ten punt! No. There's an officer on deck. <laughs> it's so sad. Yeah. A life was lost. Two Marines were lost. And Jessup, he was really trying to protect people too. I guess it. Yeah, I, he, he got was, the best but... of him or something. Yeah. He turned into something else. He was being too obsessed. No recollection of anything. Strong witnesses. And handsome to it, and you think? So the witnesses. They weren't even about to testify. Like, it was just yeah. a prop or something? Yes. <laughs> to get that guy to, to admit to what he did? Yeah. I don't know. It's just a bad situation. The whole thing didn't yeah. have to happen. If only that guy wasn't so obsessed with... Yeah, he could have just transferred the guy. Yeah, but he's and obsessed with... he didn't with have to his... order the code red. He didn't have to. I guess he thought he needed to order it so that he would be stronger. To fight yeah, for he literally wanted, yeah, he literally <sighs> wanted him to be stronger. Gosh. That's his, that's what he believes. Yeah. Like but he's just believing that he needs to fight and stand on the wall and yeah. protect people. But he didn't just need to be stronger. It's, it wasn't about being stronger. He that's was ill. Exactly. He was sick. Exactly. And they didn't care. Like they didn't check it, check into it deeper. Because he was... I think it's also the doctor's fault, but the doctor is also afraid of Jessup. Yes. So... True. And the doctor couldn't say, well, even though I admitted him and saying he was physically fit, he's not physically fit. So... You know, it's actually bad that Santiago made it into the Marines then. How did he, yeah, he get past the... Fitness. Yeah, like the medical for, you know, the... The health and stuff and the fitness and everything. I mean, it's, if he's slower and weaker, then I guess it's kind of hard to detect something. Yeah, because maybe he passed. Yeah, maybe he did then, pass a bit. But yeah, it wasn't up maybe to, certain things would have to be checked as well like that weren't yeah. checked. I, I don't know. And he wanted to do it, I guess. Yeah, but he didn't realize it would be so hard and taxing on his body and mind. And what if it happened after? Like, what if he started to deteriorate afterwards? After I guess training? they would have to let him go. But it was obvious something was wrong with him. But what Jessup thought is it's just a mental thing. But it was also physical. It was like, physical, His yeah. body couldn't take it. Because I can see where Jessup, he's like so hard-headed, mm -hmm. so stuck on saving lives and, and protecting his country yeah and protecting people in and his the country. unit like the safety of the unit as well because you can't have a weak person 
fighting alongside the brothers like he's a marine yeah like and he's very so that was I mean, his thoughts. like he said he went to vietnam mm -hmm. like he, he can't tolerate weakness yeah his whole life like he dedicated and did that you know so he's just so appalled <laughs> at their response like yeah. he's like the audacity i did all this and what i decided to do to you know i made the right call yeah i did the call how dare you say it was wrong i was trying to make this guy me. stronger to protect you to protect people and you people are just gonna throw me in prison i don't know i think he should just he needs to think more like sometimes Nah, he's also i don't know he's very egotistical yeah that's the thing that's the problem he has an issue he didn't I think he should have even spoke to the guy personally, you know, try if he has that um, thinking that, oh, you need to be strong and this and that. Why didn't he personally talk to the guy and try to motivate him then? And then he probably would have seen something different and realized that something is wrong with him for real. Like he didn't care. He just wanted everyone to be strong and you just can't be weak. You can't be, you can say, oh, transfer or I mean, like, you, oh, can you have to just build the strength. His whole demeanor, he's like, he's doing the work and you yeah. people are less than me. Even even the judge, like the judge had to say, well, if you want your props, give me my props. I'm judge. He was being, this is he was being disrespectful to yeah. the judge. So, so he's like that. I guess that's just how that's he is. Him. That's and who he is. I guess it develops that way after a while as well because yeah it's literally because of what he went through and you can tell power as well and the power it Maybe got to his head them as well so yeah. it, it got to his head you know like he's on top of everything top of things and everyone and yeah because it's like he lost himself mm -hmm. he doesn't know how to be a decent person anymore yeah like That's how it seemed yeah and the way he he's spoke like to a machine yeah it's like he got rid of affection and mm -hmm. compassion. Well, not affection. Weakness. Compassion <laughs> and he empathy. Got rid of weakness in his mind. Like yeah, everything, everything is just yeah. Weakness. If you're vulnerable, it's yeah. weakness. Just you need to get rid of that part. Get rid of it, and you need to protect people. Yeah, that's what you're here for. So if you're dying, then die. Practically, that's yeah. Literally. If you can't, if, if we give you a code red, and you die, that's then, on you. Oh well, you're too. Weak. You're just too weak. You shouldn't have been sick. You know? <laughs> exactly. That's just, like if you look at his perspective, like I guess if yeah. you do a view from you know, that's what it seems like. He but was just obsessed with this thing, you know. For Santiago, though, it's so sad that happened to him, and yeah, he's gone. Yeah, and someone has to be accountable, I guess. And even though the guys, they followed orders, so it's not just on them. It's wrong for it, for it to just be on them, you know? So it's good that Jessup had... Um, it, accountability is being forced onto Jessup because he's not taking accountability at all, you know? It's, it's being put on him. So you're saying that's sad? No, it's sad that the other guys would have to take it alone so it's good oh. sorry it's good that it's being forced onto jessup yeah however it is. the guy is still like they, they're dishonorably they're no longer, yeah, yeah they're, they're dishonorably, dishonorably discharged, discharged and and they really wanted to be marines yeah that's that what they that's sad. what they wanted to do yeah and it's sad that they took orders and it didn't second guess it or Go, no, it's, to it's really sad it, that, I guess. Yeah, what I'm saying is sad that they took orders and they're going down for the orders that they followed. Yeah. You know, like, it's just, I don't know. But like you said, they should have actually thought about it. Like, maybe not, but they'd still be dis dishonorably discharged. Yeah. But it's or so even hard. go to military prison. Who knows? Because yeah. it's actually very, you can, if you do, if you just, dis, if you disagree or not follow orders, literally, that's, that's a crime. Exactly. So true. I guess they were just in a situation that they could not avoid. It just, it would still happen either way. Yeah. If they didn't do it and if they did it.
So I guess it's, it would just have to be some other guys and, or not, or maybe it would just have to be, it just leads back to Jessup. Yeah. He's the, he's, he's the, the one, one who, he's the one, it. literally. Yeah. Jessup would have to just transfer, what's in Santiago mm-hmm. or discharge him, you know, yeah. fire the guy because he's not good enough or he's sick. Simple. But no, those guys, the, now they're not Marines. And he's going to to prison, like, and Santiago is dead. dead. Like, <laughs> so many lives ruined for yeah. what? Because, I guess, like he said, he wanted to save lives, <sighs> even if it means taking lives. Yeah, that's what they do. Guess, Remember, yeah. that's what that's what. They usually do take lives. Yeah, but I mean, taking the lives of the people who are supposed to be protected, even that too. Yeah, yeah, because remember, training is harsh as well. And yeah, you can die in training too. Yeah, so I guess that's his mentality. Yeah. Well, actually, yeah, it's not hard to be, to turn into Jessup. It's really not hard. I don't think it is because there are Jessups out there who haven't been in the military. They're not Marines. They, yeah. They, they aren't Marines. They haven't fought in Vietnam. And, you know, like, they're not appointed duty of ordering, but <laughs> yeah. they do it. But they're out, out here doing they stuff. They try to make orders and try to take yeah. resp- matters into their own hands and stuff like that. So yeah. it's very easy to be a Jessup, like you said. Mm-hmm. It's not hard. And there are a lot of Jessups out there, like, mm-hmm. a lot. They're increasing everywhere yeah. in the school system, in the government, in the families. You remember wherever. Spider-Man, the the new ones, the second one, Spider-Man 2, the one with uh, Miles Morales? Yeah, yeah. Where they say anyone can be Spider-Man, something like that. Yeah. It's literally like that. Anyone, anyone can, can be, be Jessup. Up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It has no shape, no race. No. No gender, no yeah. age. No age. no age. You can start from zero. You can start from the womb. <laughs> the terrible two. <laughs> That's what they call the toddlers when they're a two. You can start at that they're, age. They're the Jessops. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I guess, I don't know if you can say justice has been served. I don't know what happened to this movie. <sighs> I mean... Santiago is still dead. Yeah, Santiago is dead. (laughs) But the thing is, someone went down for it. And I guess that's what the family would have wanted. Yeah, and also their son back. Yeah, but that can't You know the risk when you you join the Marines, the Army, the Navy. Mm -hmm. You know the risk. You know that you might not see your son come back, your daughter. But you don't think you're going to die because someone ordered a code red? That's the true, thing. true. Maybe on the battlefield. Know, yeah, but you can also die in training. Like. You can, but also I don't think anyone goes in thinking they die in training. But it just happens because they push them far and sometimes they lose it mentally as well. Yeah. So. Oh, it's also hard. It's also hard. It's just life, I yeah. guess. Life is happening. Life is life. Not life in. <laughs> life is not <laughs> Yeah. Okay, guys, I guess this is the end of our rambling. Yeah. <laughs> and if you watch it all the way to the end, comment virtual hug. As and also, always, if you want to watch the full reaction where you get to see everything and also watch along with us, join our Patreon. The link is in the description below. And we appreciate you for watching all the way to the end. Yeah. So until next time, virtual hug. Bye. Bye.